how to deal with the proctors and LSAC. Got this report from one student recently. I'll share it with you. I took the LSAT and it went badly. After five minutes, one of the proctors came up to me and whispered some instruction and I couldn't hear her. I had to ask her to repeat herself. She wanted me to put the lined sheet of paper that fell out of the booklet back into the booklet. She couldn't have told me that in the beginning, before time commenced. I was sitting right up front. So yeah, that's one test day story involving the proctors. Obviously, you can't prepare for everything, but you can be aware. LSAC's website is, of course, the best place to go to get the latest up-to-date rules and information about the test. They have a test day rules specific page, and I have the links for you right here. If you have any questions, you can email them or call them. I recommend actually emailing them and then bringing a printout of their response with you to the test center in case there's some potential dispute that might arise over what you are permitted to bring or not. We'll get into this more later, but I do want to make you aware of some of the biggest test day rules. No cell phones, no digital watch, no electronic devices, period. What you can bring is a one gallon sized Ziploc bag along with your photo, admission ticket, pencils, etc. But you want to prepare in advance. You want to thoroughly review LSAC's test day page and upload your photo beforehand. On test day itself, confirm with the proctor beforehand that you will get 35 minutes per section, a five minute warning before the end of each section, and a 15 minute break between the third and fourth sections. If your proctor cuts you short on time, notify him or her immediately. It can't hurt to complain, it can only help. Because getting back even 40 to 45 seconds to which you are entitled is significant. That could get you another question or two. If you're shorted on time, LSAC's policy is to allow you to work on relevant sections even after you complete section five to make up for the amount of time you were initially shorted. Don't be shy about this, be assertive, because I mean, you do want to be a lawyer, right? Now, even if your proctor doesn't follow this procedure and won't listen to your complaints, you still got to obey all instructions anyway. They are the police or dictators of the room. Don't be overly argumentative. Don't cause a scene. Go ahead, still complete the writing sample, and follow all instructions. Otherwise, you may have a dispute with them that leads your score to be invalidated and a mark placed in your file. So if there is this dispute of some kind, don't overly argue with the proctor. Leave the test when you're finished. Notify LSAC immediately after the exam of what happened. And once you're outside the test center, Ask other test takers to notify LSAC as well. A report can't hurt you, and the more people who do it, the better. So do what you can.